Hi, welcome to Green Belt 2010 and this is an interview for Destination Magazine. I'm Lisa and I'll be reporting um, and this is a band from London called Catabolt. They were playing yesterday. How are you guys doing? Yeah, yeah good, really good. good thing. Yeah, how was the gig? How did you find the underground stage? Oh, it was awesome. Yeah, it was just like yeah, the it's atmosphere like the biggest was incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Biggest stage you've ever played yeah. on? Yeah, biggest stage we've ever biggest crowd as well. Yeah. Yeah, what was what was the crowd response like, Joel? How, how did you find um, the crowd? I couldn't really see the crowd, to be yeah. honest. I was uh, yeah on the drums. We, so we, back. we heard that people so. were doing like a human human pyramid or something. Yeah, so I didn't realize that, that. That was pretty crazy. I think you know people were kind of getting into it in their own ways. So. Yeah, people get a bit crazy here. Yeah, they, they do. <laughs> Yeah, I saw some hardcore guy with like seriously long hair, head banging, and I was like, that's it, that's it. Really? That's nice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was getting out of control. <laughs> How did you find it, Ben? Yeah, it was great fun. Uh, really cool. Like, um, I, I really kind of enjoyed just being in a network of bands, uh, playing with other bands who we've played with before, and have become kind of like our, our scene, I suppose. Yeah. Um, and we're still a very young band, but. Um, yeah, it's just great to know that there are other guys who are encouraging you and supporting you. Like after our gig, uh, the guys from Fire Fall Down were like, oh, "You guys are really good," and yeah. like it's just it's just so great to have that kind of encouragement yeah. from uh, from other guys. And um, it's know that they're Christians as well. It's know that we're all up there for the same reason ultimately. Um, yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I think that's good because like I think the meltdown stage, like specifically like the bands, like it's so good to have like that kind of family around you Definitely, because it's like connections and you know friendships and it's just like a good circle of people to like just live life with. But like you were saying, like um, you know you all have the same reasons. You want to maybe speak a little bit about your faith because I know you guys are obviously Christians and you know that's what you stand for. Like how did that come about? You know, being a Christian band. Well, I, I think our foundation are really about Christianity because we met through our church youth group and that's how we kind of started this whole thing so I think you know Christianity and believing in God and that being part of you know um, our band it's always been the core of our band of like the message that we want to project so it's you know it stayed with us and that's, that's who we are and that's who we are so. yeah that's cool yeah, yeah you're going to say my like this? Yeah. yeah well our band kind of begins with, with Christianity you know, we began in a church practice in a church yeah. and you know we, that's basically most of the things we talk about is either you know God or the music so yeah. it's kind yeah. of it's a, a good combination it's a natural yeah. it's a natural yeah. thing yeah, yeah. 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 which is good because I think if, if it's your faith like you know just comes through your music like and it's natural and you like for me bands you live the lifestyle and you play the lifestyle like those are like really good Christian bands to me and I think to be fair most of the bands that I get at the festival are like that they're living the life and you know it's good I think it's good to have you guys you know up there as well you know someone from London coming yeah. down and just showing like the, the Midland bands you know that, that there's like Christian bands in London too London, yeah, because yeah. I think you, you get this feeling that you know London you know you know, wouldn't have such a massive Christian scene, you know, because you just think London, that's crazy up there. Well, it yeah. doesn't really. <laughs> yeah. 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 But then it's good to know that there is something out there, you know, that God has. Yeah, we can be a part of. Yeah, that God's like placed you guys there so. and that, you know, you can be an example to to either people who are coming from London, you, you know, who think, wow, you know, because there's probably people at Greenville Festival from London here. Yeah, yeah, from from London. yeah, yeah. we actually yeah. have a lot of friends and family here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they left yesterday, but we met some friends just today, like we didn't realize. Um, so we're here, but yeah. And we've got another Christian band actually playing today, Flight Brigade, so we're excited about seeing that. They're really from London. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. should be a good band. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Ben, I've heard word on the street that the women are quite crazy about you. <laughs> what do you have to say <laughs> about that? <laughs> I was completely unaware of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, heard, I heard there was a little groupie. Like some groupies going, oh. Ben, Ben, during the gig. Nice. Yeah, wow. is this very new to you? Or? It's, it's very new to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not aware. Okay, can I send them anywhere if I find them, if I come across them? I'd be like, Ben, area 84. <laughs> No, I won't send the name. You might have some stalkers, like yeah, with Ben masks. I love you, Ben. Mask, yeah. <laughs> no, I always, I always said that Ben would be the one. Charming. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he is a draw. Okay. In an but, understated. <laughs> <laughs> but not only is Ben a draw, we have Catherine, who's obviously the novelty of the band because she's yes. the only girl. Um, I was saying to you guys a little bit earlier before the interview, we were chatting about how, you know, a lot of 
you know, hardcore bands will have either lead female vocalists, but it's really good to have like a guitarist, yeah, you know. It's, it's How do you feel being with all guys? Like, what's that like? I mean, because like we grew up together, like they're like my best friends really, so for me it's kind of natural to kind of, you know, do something that I love with yeah. people that I love as well. So, I mean, really the whole thing about being a girl with guys doesn't really like affect me too much, although I am aware that there aren't ma as many women in the scene. And yeah. And that, you know, it's a shame there should be really more women in the scene and things. But I think, you know, hopefully we can we can promote that. Yeah, what I we think do it's good well, because so. you, you're like a good role model out there for younger yeah. girls. Because I, I think yeah. I think some of the girls sometimes, you know, obviously they're there for the guys, you know. Like, yeah. but then yeah. it's good to have a girl who they can exactly. be like, oh, you know, you know I want to be like that. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I, should, get I think that's really good. But what's it like actually living with the guys? You know, obviously they're sweaty, smelly. <laughs> do they make you do well, all the cooking I, and cleaning? I get a bit of sweaty and smelly as well. So <laughs> yeah. they put, you know, it's it's all good really. But okay. I mean, you know, we have our ups and downs, but like yeah. it's all part of the fun really. Yeah. And, you know, it's all worth it. Oh, that's know, good. It's really fun. Yeah. Seth? Yeah. I've heard word on the street again. <laughs> <laughs> that's you have pretty cool facial hair. Uh, what's yeah. what's oh, yeah. the secret? Uh, what is the secret? I think, it's, I think it's just down to genetics, man. Uh, genetics? Like, I don't I believe mean, this. Somebody I told me you buy hair growth, beard uh, growth, yeah. eBay. They told me £15.99 specifically. Magnificent. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> they need a pass on their heads. Yeah. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm a bit scared because um, it was me. <laughs> He's like, no, no, I'm just, I'm yeah. just kidding. I was, uh, yeah, I mean, at times it is frustrating, but then again, <laughs> but then at times uh, it's it's so it's so good at times when you have people that are sort of envious of you to kind of be a man. <laughs> like every every person, every guy wants <laughs> to be, be a man. He's got a nickname. Uh, Sasquatch. <laughs> Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Nice. Which not nice. everyone's heard of, but it's basically Bigfoot. Do things ever get, like if you grow your beard quite fully, do things ever get stuck in there? Like do you find little creatures? Like, no, I haven't, I haven't yeah. quite experienced that yet. But, um, I think it's just because we haven't actually got to that stage of touring yet. Uh, that maybe if things did get quite extreme, then maybe yeah. that would... I'll get a shaving or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Be like, <laughs> be like a yeah, mad <laughs> I keep trying to convince him like, grow <laughs> to full. grow, yeah, like grow a full one, like yeah. a massive, like, like, a, like a Jesus chest. Yeah. 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 That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. I, I was chatting to you guys last night in the in the beer tent, the Jesus arms, and you guys mentioned um, something about an interesting cornerstone. Uh, yeah, yes. well, kind yeah? of. Well, <laughs> I don't know, it's all like, you know, it's all up in the air, like, we don't want to say anything. Yeah, but it would be pretty cool to play there. Yeah, it would be awesome to play there, yeah. 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 We spoke to Dougal, the guy from the Hunter Sign of Four Skills, and he was like, you know, I said, oh, we love Cornerstone, we, yeah. we know so many great bands there, and he was like, you know, do you want to go, do you want to go? So, I mean, for us, that would be, that's like beyond our wildest dreams, yeah. to be honest, but, you know, to even be asked for that is... Yeah. Like, and do you think like Green Belt has given you kind of like the opportunity, yeah, like it's definitely. kind of like a door, you know, opening it's, to like new things? It's like. funny actually, like we wouldn't have dreamed to play Green Belt yeah. you know, like, a year ago, we'd be like, no, not for like ages, you know, yeah. not until we're actual grown-ups, you know, like, <laughs> we talk 50. like that kind of stuff, we're like 20, 20 some yeah. time, or like, you know, but yeah, now that's happened, we're thinking, wait, what else can we move on to? Yeah. Now, it can only get bigger, I guess. Yeah. Until that's cool. we're too old. We appreciate all that comes our way, really, yeah. just to make the most of it and, yeah, to take every opportunity. So. That's cool. And, like, influence? Like, you guys kind of have, like, a me without you slash. I don't know. Well, what's, what's your influence? Like I was up there, I was like, hmm. We've got quite an eclectic taste in yeah. music, really. But like, what would you like lay it down to? Like, scream. <laughs> screamo, yeah. really, like kind of the ninety screamo. Ninety screamo. It, yeah. Yeah. And there's there's a lot of really awesome screamo in Europe at the moment. Like the Italian bands, like uh, there's a band called La Criette and Rain. Uh, another band, and they're both awesome. Like they've yeah. been like Sweet La Lune, Sweet La Lune from Sweden. Um, like really quite underground kind of punk stuff, which is super like melodic. DIY and bands. That's yeah. kind of like what we relate to. Yeah, yeah. But we we've we've got a lot of like other interests. Like we're majorly into like folk music, and things like that. Yeah, I'm really into classical music. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we draw on a lot of.
Which so, yeah. yeah, so it's kind of like you're taking a little bit from everything. Like. Yeah. But like you said, we can't really get away from the whole me without you. Like, yeah. But, but we love that. Yeah. Part. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's quite expressionate. Like when you guys yeah. play, it's quite like expressionate. And, yeah. and I think it's, it's really good. It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just quite emotional and like <laughs> raw. And when you're up there, you're just like, ah, it's like I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should cry or scream or like, <laughs> yeah, run around crazy. Yeah, exactly. Do something. You'd be welcome to do that. Exactly. We would love to I gotta do that. Anyway, check their MySpace out. MySpace, what is? MySpace.com catapult noise. Catapult noise. Okay, check catapult. them out. They're really it's good. It's got. It's an S at the end of catapult. Catapult noise. So catapult plural. noise. Yeah. Space. So I took catapult. So nice. I didn't hit a noise. So this is like deep, like little secrets involved in their MySpace. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you guys for coming today. Um, yeah, carry on checking out Detonation Magazine for any more interviews. And yeah, this is Green Belt 2010. Thanks, guys.